Hey yo family, how are we doing today? It is Zach here and I'm tuning in to say hi from this apartment in Tulum, Mexico where I have a little Buddha. Hey Buddha, little makeshift standing office situation, some fishies on the wall and yeah just a really great place. Like look at that green dream catcher. Like I love this place. I'm really grateful to be here. I'm very appreciative. Yeah, super awesome. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm in love. It's very Mexican vibes. You've got some real Mexican vibes going on. Yeah, so this video today, uh, yeah, just I haven't really made a video for like for a while. And <clears throat> I'm putting my identity and my ego aside in order to show up in this way today just to talk and really express and say, hey, here I am. There's so much that's brimming that wants to come out of me. So I just got to start sharing it. <laughs> so when I first got to Tulum, uh, after coming back from Colorado, I was seeking a place outside of the main strip because I was staying in the main strip before. It was very noisy, lots of hotels, lots of just the big main road, just a very noisy environment. And I don't really do too well personally in that kind of space. Whereas here, I'm, I'm in La Valletta, which is uh, in the southwest of Tulum. It's outside, it's almost like a, it's outside of the main town and it's much more quiet. Like there's a bit of construction work going on, but I'm just very grateful, very appreciative to be in this apartment. And we've got a pool out there as well. Um, really amazing place, just so, so grateful. And I'll be here until probably around the 15th of September. And then we'll see where I go from there. But yeah. Um, but before I actually have had this place to myself, like I do now, uh, the, the leaseholder, she, when she was here, before she left, uh, she was smoking weed, she was smoking some tobacco, and um, yeah, some of you may know, like I was smoking weed and tobacco for half of my life, uh, and quit last June, or this June, just gone, so like two months ago now, and it was great. But then I came back here and it's just like, oh, it was too, it was, <laughs> it was just a welcome invitation. And so I did. And so for the past, the past week, the past 10 days that I've been here, I've just been, yeah, smoking a bit of weed, uh, smoke, smoke some tobacco as well. But today is the first day I've decided no more. Like, actually no. Yesterday was the first day with nothing. Yesterday I had no tobacco, no um, no weed, no nothing. And so here I am today. Coming back to that cleansed state, you know, keeping it clean, keeping it healthy, keeping these lungs good. So this video today, <laughs> I wanted to talk about my purpose, even though we don't really ever have one particular purpose, we have like a spectrum of purpose, right? Of course. And at one time of our life, we'll be fulfilling this certain soul contract. And then at another time, we'll fulfill a different one and it varies. As for myself, I, I, that's another thing. Who is I? Is this, this is my ego talking. When I go back into the past and I digress, but I'm doing this from the point of logic because it helps people, helps people understand when you supply that context of when you're trying to explain something. So. Let me supply this context. This context is, it was 2014 and I was traveling around the world uh, for, for about half a year. 
And a lot of that time that I was traveling, especially towards the second half of it, I was almost more focused on like developing the concepts of my business and what I was going to be doing and working on. Basically, I wanted to start my own kind of graphic design, graphic design business, self-employed. I just wanted to be self-employed because at that point in my life, I realized like I just, I want to work for myself. Uh, and so I began that process. I was <laughs> spent spend that time traveling, like mainly a lot of the time focused on like trying to plan out this business for when I got back so I could hit the ground running. And then, and then the following year, it was 2015, and I came into this idea of network marketing uh, that was introduced to me. I got really excited. <clears throat> it was also affiliate marketing. And I experimented in a few different things in that time, 2015 to 2016. I, I was interested, intrigued in these different products and services that had come into my awareness. And I just got this kind of yearning of like, I decided at, at that point, it was also the time that this idea of like time freedom or financial freedom or yeah, time freedom, lifestyle freedom first became really, it came into my consciousness. It came into my awareness that this was a possibility. I'd never even truly considered it before. I just thought, you know, as, as many of us do, we, depending on our upbringing and our conditioning, we can enter into life believing, oh yeah, I'm going to be working for the rest of my life. <laughs> like, and that was, I suppose, in a lot of ways, my mentality. And growing up, it was, I didn't really want to be working, but you know, no one, not everyone wants to be working. Unless it's something they really want to do, something that they really love, or perhaps not working because, because they have to, but more just instead people wanting to work because they want to. That's, that's I think, what many people idealize and move towards, but I digress. So I was in this point of 2015, 2016, and realizing that, right, I want to be financially secure. I want to have time freedom. I want to create that kind of lifestyle for myself. That was my intention at that point. And that was, that just felt good to me. And I went through several trials and tribulations, learning experiences, losing some money at one point, uh, attempting to make it big with Forex binary options trading. <laughs> and I then started building an e-commerce brand with a business partner. I then started working on building another e-commerce brand and I was like earning like money from the sales on a performance basis. That was part of my idea of like, oh yeah, create create this financial security, like where the money comes in residually without you actually having to, you know, consistently show up to work like a nine to five job every day. You're not trading time for money anymore. You're trading, you're just doing the work once and then it gets full and then you continue to be paid from that work. Even though there's always continually work to continue with, you know, you, you can't just really do work once. Well, you can, that does exist. But you know what I mean. You, you can't get something for nothing. There always has to be some kind of exchange. Again, I digress. <laughs> so, <laughs> moving then into those years, 2017, 2018, 2019, I started putting money into crypto. I just got excited about that. There was this one altcoin I discovered. I was like, yes, this is the one. This has got the right kind of vibe for me. Like they want to help the world. They want to help people in Africa. And that was really cool to me at the time. And then it came to, yeah, just time kept on moving on. And I was just like, Ray, I've got my investment there. I'm, I'm doing my e-commerce marketing stuff there. Um, I'm learning about all this spiritual stuff. Yes, I aware, I'm aware that I may become some kind of like spiritual mentor, some kind of spiritual coach, some kind of emotional healing coach, some kind of healing facilitator in that way. 
I didn't really have any idea of what that was going to entail in the, in the bigger picture, but... And to be honest, I still don't know. However, I do have an incredibly exciting feeling about it now. I didn't have it before. It wasn't the right timing. It was almost like I had been externally told prematurely, but how well, is anything really premature? But <laughs> oh, it's, hard to, it's hard to talk about stuff sometimes because um, you've got the old beliefs, you've got the egoic beliefs, and then you've got the kind of spiritual objectivity and it's constant rewiring and <laughs> it's funny, right? And yeah, recently in the past, in the past few months, I, certain opportunities came around that have been brewing for the past few years. And I decided to make some moves in terms of investing. The money I've moved, I invested in cryptocurrency. I have moved into a different investment. And yeah, I just, I can see now how within the next 12 months, how I see myself and I feel myself and I know myself as creating that financial security and that time freedom that I've been manifesting for way beyond even being in this physical body. Of course, you know, this is God's decision. This is the creator, source itself, herself, himself. Working at play. You just observing me right now, me looking at this camera right now is just, it is what it is. So if this kind of financial security comes about, it's going to allow me, because last night I couldn't sleep very much. You know, I was coming off this weed, um, you know, first night I <clears throat> struggled to get to sleep for hours till about 3 a.m. and I usually go to bed around about half 11, 12. And that was the weed, coming off the weed, right? But in that time, it gave me, it was interesting. It was like, I started receiving downloads. Maybe it's the energetics of today. Maybe it is just the pulse, the beat that I was, the energetics then how that is interacting with me and my own energy and my mind and my, my higher self and the, the downloads I was receiving and basically the clarity I had received was that I have this, I've been working so, I've been working hard consistently for, since I came out of uni, right? Since, since 2012 and the longest break from work I'd had was that six months in 2014 when I went traveling. I'm not the only one in this situation People work damn hard. Everywhere, like, you know, we all do. Almost all of us have to. If we wish to, if we wish to survive. But I'm seeing this necessity of work now. It's like, this was always my intention. My intention was to build up this financial security so that I could do the things that I loved to do. And really, in a way, <clears throat> it's a, it, perhaps from one perspective, it's a backwards way of doing it. If you look at the law of attraction, it's like, right, I am here and I know that I want to manifest a million pounds or a million dollars, right? And then I'm going to, that million dollars, that thing that's outside of me is then going to be able to support me and provide my ego with that kind of sense of security so that I can then go and pursue my, my true heart's calling, my true passions, right? And that's, 
it's kind of not giving ourselves the permission slip to be able to just go forwards and create what it is that we want to create. That's truly in our hearts. That's truly our heart's desires. For example, let's say that, oh, I really have become very fond of creating videos and I love creating videos because I realize how much it's helping people and the feedback that I'm receiving of people saying to me, Zach, like, your videos are helping me. Thank you for doing them, please keep going. That feeling is addictive <laughs> for me. I love it. And so the interesting thing here is that million dollars it doesn't have to come through me working on like e-commerce brands and like, oh, I have to create my financial security this way in order to be able to follow that kind of heart's desire of making more videos to help people. What if I was just to make videos to help people and through that action of following my heart's desire, the money then becomes the byproduct of that action I receive because I'm giving so much. That's another way of looking at it. So if we take this kind of rigid belief of how we think that law of attraction should work and how we should manifest of like, oh, don't aim to manifest financial, financial security first so that you can then follow your heart's desire. Law of attraction teachings and popular belief tells us to follow your heart's desire and that's what will bring you the financial security that you're also looking for, right? But what if I'm here to say that I've done it differently and it's about to pay off. What if I would say, what if this reflection of, what if this reflection of all that is, this, this expressing to you right now is telling you that it's possible to do things differently than what the mainstream community around the law of attraction belief believes is the way to do it. Of course, there's never one way to do something. And I'm no special snowflake. I'm as special as every single other person and thing in this universe. But what I'm just trying to express here is that I was intending and intending and intending to manifest financial security for many years with the idea that I wasn't really fully ready to move into coaching people or working with people one-on-one -on -one and earning money that way. And so I was kind of like avoiding my heart's calling by pursuing this path of building e-commerce brands and, and working in that way when really, yeah, the point I'm trying to get to here is that <laughs> the point I'm trying to get to here is perhaps this was all extremely necessary for me to experience. Perhaps everything that's played out for me and everything that's playing out for you as well in your life is meant to be. It's meant for you. You're meant to experience it. The divine plan is divine. It's more than we can, our minds can logically figure out or comprehend. Because what I can see happening in the next one to two years is, now, I'm almost dubious to share this, but I can see some, I don't, I don't wanna, you know, I don't want to promise more than I can deliver. And I don't want to put out, I want to keep my powder dry energetically in terms of this manifestation. Of course, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be and God's going to make it happen anyway. But yeah, I can see in the coming times, like essentially the purpose of my message of today is to say that I was going about this act of manifesting enough money and now I realize 
perhaps what I'm really here to do. And that is for me to be able to have this financial security so that I can then produce perhaps a media company, some kind of media company that produces videos on enlightenment, emotional healing, especially, um, <laughs> all kinds of stuff related to spirituality, personal development, self-growth. And what I realize is that I can do all of this and create all of this media, all of this content, and I can perhaps even just give it to people for, fr for free, right? Be the hand of God. Walk as Jesus did, where he didn't really charge money for anything, at least as far as I'm aware. He healed people for free. He just, he, 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 he graced the earth. He walks. And he was provided for because of the love that he exuded from him. The love and, yeah, just that love that he exuded. It was reflected back to him. His healing of other people, his, his help, the help and support and care he provided and showed up with. He received 10 times back. Three times, four times, 10 times, whatever. Because it's true, at least to my understanding, that the more you give, the more you receive. And that seems to be my experience thus far in life. It may not always seem like that, but if we can be open to receive, if we're giving so much and we can stay open to receiving, then it'll come back. So yeah, that was really my message, just to be able to say, like, I can, I'm really excited about my life. I'm really excited about us as a human collective and what we're creating. I'm excited about the kind of impact I'm going to be able to create and have upon all of my brothers and sisters who need that help, who need that support. I feel stronger and more empowered than ever before. I'm here, I'm on the camera after being silent for like what feels like a very long time. I've been in my shell, I've been very restricted, I've been very shut down. in the past four weeks or so, particularly. Because of some intimate reasons, but... But yeah, I'm here now, I'm in this amazing space. I'm incredibly grateful to be here. I'm looking at this beautiful jungle paradise. It's like, right there. So I just wanted to give thanks for all of you for watching this and for listening to me just talk about how I'm going to be helping people for free. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little revelation I've had. So thank you so much. <laughs> Infinite love to you all. May you have a smashing day and a smashing month and a smashing August. The Leonine energy is upon us. It's my birthday coming up on the 14th of August. I it's my 30th. I'm probably going to be celebrating it here alone, which is fine. Although the 30th was really a birthday that I sort of wanted to make a big deal out of and have a big party. and it doesn't matter. There's always another time. Much love to you all. Thank you. Blessings. May it be well.